Well, now really is the time to prepare your home for the expected Arctic blasts to come. Yeah, that's right. Kevin's been telling us all morning long about the temperatures, how they're expected to take a dangerous plunge on Thursday. So now's the time to act. ABC 13's Rosie Wynn is live with the rush to get ready. Good morning to you, Rosie. Good morning, Erica and Jeff. Here at CND Hardware and Gifts, the owner tells us they have been in a mad scramble to get a few extra items in this week, mainly items like faucet covers and plant protectors. We can certainly understand why there is a rush to get supplies. It is chilly out here, and like Kevin said, it is only expected to get colder. And of course, families who are not uh, doing that proper preparation could be left suffering out in the cold. Dwayne Myers, who is the owner of this hardware store, says this is something that they see time and time again. When meteorologists forecast a prolonged freeze that will last a few days, that's when hardware stores will see a lot of their inventory sell out. Staff say winterizing your home is a good investment because some steps like wrapping your pipes can last years. This is the first proactive time I've seen in 20 plus years. I think the freeze that we had back in 21 really educated a lot of folks. So they're getting out getting it early while they can and uh, you know the pressure's not on we still have several days till the freeze hits so we're we're doing good here are some ways you can keep your plants protected this winter. Cluster potted plants near your home to protect them from the wind and hold in some heat. Water your plants before a freeze to help keep the warmth in the soil. Add some mulch to insulate your plant roots. Cover them at night all the way down to the roots, but remember to remove them in the morning when the sun comes up. Now we have a lot more tips on how you can winterize your homes and protect uh, your items and what to do in case a freeze happens, uh, things you could prepare for to keep your family safe. We'll have all of that information and more on abc13.com. Reporting live in the Heights, Rosie Wynn, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.